Hello everyone, welcome to the BlueCube YouTube channel. Continuing the Adobe Animate software tutorial from beginner to advanced levels, in this video I will teach you how to move an object along a path. We will define this path ourselves, and the object will move according to it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss my future videos. In this video, I want to import a fish shape and define a path for it so that the fish moves along that path. Of course, instead of a fish, you can use a picture of an airplane, a rocket, a ball, or anything else, it doesn't matter. First, I'll select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. I'll also choose blue for its color. Then I'll lock its layer so it doesn't move. Now I'll create a new layer and name it Fish. On my computer, I'll hold the left mouse button on the fish image and drag and drop it onto the document. The fish will be imported this way. I'll right click on it and from the transform section, select the flip horizontal option to reverse the direction of the fish. Now I need to convert the fish into a symbol. I'll right click on it again and select convert to symbol. You can choose either graphic or movie clip mode. I'll choose graphic mode and press the OK button. Our fish has now been converted into a symbol. I'll hold the shift key and use the free transform tool to make it much smaller. I think the size is suitable, and I'll place it here. Now I'll zoom in a little more. I'll click on the fish layer to select it. Then I'll right click and click the add classic motion guide option. This will create a new layer named guide fish with a different shape. Now we can create the fish's movement path in this layer. I'll select the guide layer and also select the pen tool. To make the path more visible, I'll slightly increase the stroke size. Remember that the path on the guide fish layer will not be visible in the final output. I'll click here with the pen tool. I'll click at the start of the path and do this several times to create my desired path. Here, I'll hold down the left mouse button and drag to make the path more curved. Finally, I want the fish to exit the scene, so I'll click outside the scene so the fish also exits the scene later in the process. Now I'll use the free transform tool to select the fish again. I want to place it at the beginning of the path. In the document settings, I'll enable the snap to objects option. This way, when you place the fish, it will snap to the path. I'll place it at the beginning of the path. Now, at frame 300, I'll hold the left mouse button and drag until the frames for the background, guide, and fish layers in the timeline turn blue. Then I'll click the insert frame option to create frames for them. I'll select the last frame of the fish layer and click the insert keyframe option. Now I'll select the fish with the free transform tool, drag it, and place it at the end of the path. This way, we have defined the beginning and end of the path. I'll go back to frame 1. I'll select the fish layer again, right-click, and select the Create Classic Tween option. Now you can see that the fish moves along the path. I'll press the play button. It's clear that the fish moves on the path, but it doesn't rotate with the path and remains in one direction. For example, when the fish moves upwards, its head should move upwards, but no change occurs. To fix this, select the fish layer again, and in the Properties panel under the Tweening section, check the Orient to Path option to activate it. Now, at frame 1, I first need to adjust the fish's direction myself. I'll rotate it slightly here so the fish's head is up. 
I'll place the slider on the last frame and adjust the fish's direction slightly. I'll go back to frame 1 again. You can see that the fish moves along the path. I'll play it again. When the path goes down, the fish's head goes down and it continues the path this way. As I mentioned earlier, this path will not be visible in the final output. Let me go to frame 1 and from the control section, click the test option to see the preview. In the preview, you can see that the path is not visible at all, and our fish moves in the water this way. Finally, I'll tell you a few things that you shouldn't forget. If you want the fish's movement to be slower, you need to increase the number of frames. For example, I created the animation in 300 frames, you should create the animation with 400 or 450 frames. If you want the fish's movement to be faster, you need to use fewer frames, for example, 200 or 100 frames. This way, the fish's movement will be faster. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Practice all these points to master them well. Until the next video, bye for now.